Good morning. It is Tuesday, June 7th, and I am at a job to do leak detection. It's a 410A system that Mike has been to a couple times, and they decided they want to do the leak detection now. I'm going to start out, if there's refrigerant, with the Elitech electronic leak detector. Um, and then we'll see what happens if I don't find anything that way. Hopefully I find something that way, or it's in an obvious place like a filter dryer, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm going back to the truck. I had my gauges hooked up. There was some pressure in it. And I pulled the electronic leak detector out. I checked everywhere outside, nothing. Checked inside, and as soon as I opened the door on the coil, it started going off. So I started moving it around the coil, and I think I found it, but I'm getting the soapy bubbles to make sure I can see it for sure. I may not be able to because it may be deeper in the coil, but we'll see. Okay, here's our coil. Here's our leak detector. You can see it peaked all the way up. And when I bring it over here, we go up. somewhere in this general area. And I'm thinking it's gonna be right at that joint. This one. So I'm gonna spray some soap and bubbles and see if we get any bubbling. Over the whole area and try to see if we get any bubbles anywhere. And I'll keep watching it and spray other connections. Not sure if the camera can get it, but there were big bubbles forming in that area, kind of towards the corner, the bottom of it not going to focus on it, but all the way behind that metal sheet. So that's not going to be easily repairable. And I have a feeling there's probably multiple on this coil. So I'm going to call, see if we can get a direct replacement coil to swap it out. So I ordered that coil and put them in the schedule. I'll be replacing it on Monday, or not Monday, Friday, early in the morning. But that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Comment any criticisms or feedback or advice. Like the video if you liked it, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.